So this is essentially what happened. A video producer from Verizon, like the phone company, reached out and he was like, yo, I'm from Verizon and I write for In The Know Media and I wanna feature you on all of our platforms, including Verizon, Yahoo, AOL, and In The Know. This video producer wanted to feature my work, my spin art that I do on TikTok and share it to the world. And naturally I said, uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and this is what kind of, this is, this is what happened. I just, I don't even know, like, it just happened. Wow, crazy. safe to say that I could potentially become verified or famous I don't know <laughs> but isn't that crazy that is just to me that's just nuts two months literally two months into this journey of of making paintings through TikTok and showing to the world what I do in the process I don't know it's it's really exciting I'm not saying it's like a rag rags to riches story but there's potential. I feel like there's potential there. And what are we doing today? Oh, who would have thought? More paintings, more TikTok, more content. <laughs> and you know, with making all these paintings and like actually starting a small business during quarantine, which is one thing we should be talking about, how to like, how I've built this business, like a small empire, if you will. And quite literally with all of the success that I, that I bring, I also get a bunch of hate on that back end. So, I often get asked how much, you know, Johnny, how much do you make? Do you pay taxes? Johnny, is, uh, are you like doing it legally? Johnny, is this a ripoff? Is this a scam? Some even just like trash me and my paintings, which, hey, I get it. It's the internet. People hate on people, people troll. It comes with the job. And you do, I, I do wanna say that my whole goal with, with Johnny Q Art, with, with creating his paintings and monetizing, is just to show you that you can do it too. It doesn't have to be paint, right? It doesn't have, you don't have to be selling paint. You don't have to be an artist. If you're into baking, if you're into collecting coins, if you're into anything that brings you joy and it's your passion, I suggest that you try to make content around that thing that you love to do and you don't think about capitalizing just yet, but just create content. Get the stuff out there. If your goal one day is to have your income be by what you're passionate and happy, whatever makes you happy, if that's gonna bring an income, then I think you should start now. Who's gonna bring it to you? Who's gonna, who's gonna give you the stuff to do? And then like, who's gonna pay you? Well, really no one, not unless you start to create content. Let's say you like to create you know, you like to collect Pokemon cards. I don't, but let's say that's super random and out of my wheelhouse. If I was very passionate about collecting Pokemon cards, and if I actually opened up a podcast, a YouTube channel, a TikTok dedicated to talking about Pokemon, what Pokemon is, how you can start collecting Pokemon, all the info about Pokemon and bringing and actually delivering valuable content based on Pokemon, I think you can make at least 40 to 50, $60,000 a year doing that. And it really just depends on what you're willing to do. That's just, that's kind of my view on it. I also get asked about my backyard and if it's colorful and if it's messed up. So essentially, a little bit of both, right? And so what I started to do is I started to lay down a huge piece of cardboard right here and 
that is essentially, you know, if I remove this piece of cardboard, which I will right now, if I remove it, <laughs> you basically have all this paint. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all painted, right? And if I come over here, this has just kind of been, kind of been bad for the grass. So what I've been doing, I just, I just laid this piece of cardboard down and I should be fine, technically. So I'm gonna put it back. Thank you, my lovely assistant, Sarah Q.